Live from your breaking weather leader, you're watching KKTV 11 News. And we are alerting you first on this warm and dry evening that we still have high fire danger. Hence the red flag warnings for much of the I-25 corridor and points towards the west. We do have a cold front working across the eastern plains right now that will eventually bring temperatures down and humidity up as we go into the evening hours. And that will also slowly decrease the fire danger later on. But even if we don't get any fires ourselves here, we're still going to have to deal with more wildfire smoke as we go into our day tomorrow with more hazy skies. We see a big plume of smoke coming in from the Pacific Northwest, getting closer to us along with a cold front into our day tomorrow. It's probably going to hold off until later into tomorrow afternoon and evening, but then it will continue its eastward track as we go into the overnight hours. And even into Monday, another plume of some wildfire smoke will start to move in. So probably for the next few days, we're going to have to get used to some some of that haze is going to be out there along the front range. Beside the smoke, not a whole lot covering up the sun. Still lots of sunshine into our day tomorrow. And yes, look at those temperatures behind that cold front. Notably cooler, low 70s in Colorado Springs, only upper 70s in Pueblo. So a good 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what we saw today. Even almost 20 degrees cooler for some. So quite a big change also out over the eastern plains. Maybe some upper 70s in there, but no 80s are expected. Could be a little bit warmer still in the mountain valleys. Case in points, look at Alamosa. That's going to be the warm spot tomorrow because the cold air from that cold front is unable to get up and over the mountains. So some of those valleys could still see temperatures into the upper 70s. Still going to keep things dry also into early next week, at least until Tuesday. By the time we get to Wednesday, we could see a little bit of a bump in the precipitation chances with maybe some isolated showers and storms in there. There is still some uncertainty as to how widespread this could become, but it looks like we will start to see some slightly better chances for some showers and storms in there. Again, starting on Wednesday, temperatures holding steady into next week, mostly right around 80 for highs, with maybe some isolated showers and storms Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Look at that Saturday. I can't remember the last time I put a rainy icon in there for Colorado Springs, but I think by the time we go to next weekend, things will start to look a little bit better. Keeping things dry for Pueblo, but also in Canyon City and Woodland Park, maybe some isolated showers and storms on Wednesday, a bit drier again for Thursday and Friday before some new storms could arrive as we go into next weekend. Plus